Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to all my new subscribers. I love to see people subscribing. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So perfect timing because this is one of my favorite pastimes and I know you guys' favorite pastimes as well. Um, and that is empties videos. So if you're new here, I do basically quarterly empties. So this is going to be everything that I went through fall of 2018. <laughs> so um. I love empties videos because I feel like it is the most genuine way to really say whether you like something or you didn't. I feel like you never really know how you feel until you go through it all the way. <laughs> um, and so I love watching empties videos because I love hearing whether people are going to repurchase or not repurchase, whether it's really on their radar or if something else is kind of taken that thing's place. So um, I do everything from skincare um body care hair care and even like home items so let's just go ahead and get on into the empties video because it's gonna be a long one <laughs> all right guys get cozy i got i got my blankie here i got coffee go ahead and get cozy because this is gonna be a long one um i'm gonna go ahead and just pick right off the top shiseido facial cotton if you guys have been watching my videos for a while you know this is the only cotton i will use on my skin it is not rough on my skin. I have a lot of issues with things being a little bit too rough. This is perfect. It's great for essences. It's great for toners. Um, it's even great if you want to just use it to remove your makeup because you're lazy. So, love me some Shiseido Facial Cotton. I've already repurchased and I will continue to repurchase. Got some sheet masks. The first one is the Sephora brand Pineapple Face Mask. And that's what it looks like. This was really, really nice. Um, it smells really nice too. I'm not usually one for fragrance in my skincare, but this fragrance didn't break me out, so I'm good. Um, this one is supposed to perfect pores and smooth. Now, I feel like I didn't see that much of a difference um, in my pores, but my skin did feel very baby but soft. Like, it felt amazing when I took this off. Um, and when I woke up the next morning, my skin looked dope. I usually do sheet masks at night. Um, typically because most of the serums and sheet masks are a little too heavy for me to like keep on my skin during the day. So that's one that I use at night. The other one that I tried was the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Jelly Sheet Mask. It's supposed to be hydrating and soothing for all skin types. This is also from Sephora. Um... This was nice, but it wasn't amazing. I was really excited to try it because I hear so much about the Glow Recipe range. Um, I'll probably try their Watermelon Sleeping Mask. This has amazing ingredients, um, but for me, I'd have to be particular about it. That's why I'm not sure about it. I got great results from it. My skin was super glowy. It was super hydrated, but it's kind of sticky. That's really the downfall I have for it, and so for me, like... I would keep one around every now and then when I really like, I know I'm doing something the next day or like I have a really nice event to go to and I really want my skin to be like super duper glowy the next day, I would use that. But I wouldn't use that regularly just because it would annoy the crap out of me because the serum is very sticky. So if you feel like trying that out, I would say it's worth trying it out, but it's not my absolute favorite. Um, and then. I have one more sheet mask. This is the Dr. Jart Brightening Infusion Hydrogel Mask. And this is good for dark circles and dullness. That's what it looks like. I basically tried this because of the Glam Twins. And they were right about this one. This one is awesome. It is also a hydrogel mask. Um, it's definitely brightening on the skin. Feels super cooling when you put it on um the serum really does sink into your skin and so it doesn't leave my skin sticky so i would choose this one over the other one just depends on what you're looking for and the ingredients and whether you actually care about those ingredients or not but for me i would probably pick up the brightening infusion over the other one just because it doesn't leave my skin sticky and it gives me almost the exact same effect so All right then i have some home stuff this is the Perfect Autumn Candle from Bath & Body Works, White Barn. So that's what it looks like. I have like the slightest bit left. Um, probably maybe an hour worth of burn time. So I figured I'd throw it in here. This smells amazing. This is literally like what I think of when I think of fall. So the name Perfect Autumn is 
spot on. It has like some apple in there, some cinnamon and clove. I think it has the notes here. Yeah. Fresh cranberry, spice, pumpkin, crisp, a crisp apple, and rich clove. Yeah. So you can smell like a little bit of that pumpkin in there too, but you can mainly smell the cranberry and the apple kind of mixed with that clove. This smells amazing and I'm sad that I didn't get more. It was one of those candles that like they came out with it and it was there for like a week and then I couldn't find it anymore. So I hate it when they do that and they do that a lot. They'll just like bring out scents. It'll be there for like maybe two weeks and then it's gone. So this is one of those. I hope they come back out with it next year so I can stock up on it. Um, but if you happen to see this, like if your Bath and Body Works didn't sell out of it, pick this up because it's amazing. Um, and then I have a wallflower that I'm getting ready to change. So I just threw this in here so I knew what it was called. Um, this is Creamy Nutmeg. Um, so this is the little stick on that they put on the wallflowers. It's amazing. Um, it has grated nutmeg, cinnamon stick, and creamy vanilla. I love this. It's a nice, sweet scent, but it's not a cloying sweet scent. All right, now on to some hair care. So I have some things in here that I didn't completely go through. I purged them because it was time. Um, I told you guys I redid my stash over here. Um, and there were a few things that it was just time for them to go because no matter what I did, I could not get them to work for me. And the funny thing is, like, I think I have, like, three things from Design Essentials in here. The things that I purged were, for the most part, Design Essentials. The first one is the Coconut and Minoy Curl Defining Gelée. It's an ultra-moisturizing curl enhancer for lush, frizz-free curls for dull, dry, thirsty hair. And this has sunflower, marshmallow root, and aloe. So when I saw this, I was like, these are all the things that I love in a good, you know, styler. When you put this on your hair... Your hair looks so insanely juicy. Um, super duper soft and shiny. The curls are defined. This does define the curls. The problem is that this has no hold. And even if I put another gel on top of it, it takes away all the hold from that gel. I cannot get this to work for me. This is the kind of product for me as someone that has normal porosity and fine strands that gives me moisture overload. Um, the few times that I've had moisture overload, I had it when I used this product. I've been trying really hard to um, find a way to make it work, and I just can't. And, I mean, you can see the texture. Like, you'd think that it would be a great product, but it's it's not. And it was one of those products that, like, it was just so bad I couldn't see giving it away in good conscience. Um, so, yeah, this one... I can genuinely say that I would never suggest this to anybody. Um, if I if I didn't feel comfortable giving it away, <laughs> then I can say I'd never suggest this to anybody. So yeah, the Coconut and Minoy Curl Defining Gelée. If you are looking for a styler, don't. <laughs> the next product, I at least got a decent way through this. This is the Coconut and Minoy Curl Enhancing Dual Hydration Milk with sunflower and marula oil. It's a two-in-one daily moisture infusion for maximum hydration, definition, and shine. So, it's kind of the same issue that I had with that product, except this is a leave-in. It's a, it's a dual hydration milk, and this adds tons of hydration, but it destroys the efficacy of whatever I put on top of it. It's like no matter what I put on top of it, the strongest styler that I can find it's just too soft. My hair won't dry. I just end up with a frizzy mess. It's, I can't, I can't. And so I was going to finish this up, but around the time I went to finish it up, it got this really weird, it almost smells like a Sharpie. Yeah, and it's not supposed to smell like that. So I think the ingredients in here have officially turned. It's time for me to get rid of this. Um, I tried, I tried to finish it at least. Um, and usually if I did use this, I would use it for those weeks where I was going to slick my hair back into a bun, um, as opposed to doing a wash and go. So if you were protective styling with this, you probably like this because it's going to give you like literally endless moisture. But, um, if you are trying to do like a wash and go style or something where you're trying to reduce frizz, I don't think this is going to be it for you. It just... It mixes with a lot of different gels, but those gels don't dry with the cast. So I need a cast for my hair to have like that, that lasting hold and it, it doesn't hold the curls for me when I have this in my hair. So, um, yeah, it's, I'm just not with it. 
am I the only one who feels like Design Essentials for the most part, like I haven't found good products from them. Um, I found like a few that I love and most of them I'm just like, the next thing from Design Essentials. Um, this is from their natural line, the first one that they did. Um, this is the Natural Defining Cream Gel. Um, from what I understand, they have reformulated this. Like, now it's, like, the one that has avocado. Like, I think they still sell this, but this is not the reformulated version. This is the old version. I just could never get this to work for me either. Um, it smells amazing, but this one is starting to smell kind of off, too. It is definitely, like, a thick cream, um, but it's a gel. And I got a lot of flakes with it. Um, no matter what I put, like, I would use it by itself. I would use it with other leave-ins. Um, it just never really worked for me that well. Now, if I find the other one, based on the results that I saw Mad Curls use, it seems like it's completely different from this. And so if I ever run into that, I would probably try it. But um, as for this one specifically, nah. Now, the leave-in from this collection... But their natural collection, that one is really, really good. So if you come across that, that one's really nice. But this product, um, in general, I just didn't enjoy. It wasn't for me. Like, it had really nice hold and made my curls really shiny, but it also made my hair snow. So, um, I can't, can't do the flakes. Actually, I have one more thing that I purged. Um, and that was the Miss Jessie Stretch Silkening Cream. This is supposed to be for natural curls, kinks and waves, pony puffs, TWAs, twist and braid outs, transitioners, coiling, and silkeners. I don't know what the hell that means. Um, it's a hair cream. I got this way back when I was subscribed to Curl Kit. Don't even get me started on, on Curl Kit. Everyone was excited for this box. It was a shitty box. It was like, this is the only full product and everything else was samples. Um, most of them... Not enough for me to finish my hair. So that's what this looks like. Um, I remember getting at least a decent twist out with it. Back when I was doing twist outs and my hair was shorter. It smells nice. Um, but it just really didn't do much for me in the long run. It, it was just okay. I kind of forgot about it. And I have the tendency to when I have something from Miss Jessie's. Typically things that I didn't buy myself. I forget about them. I, I think Miss Jessie's products are kind of just forgettable. Um, they don't really do anything for my hair. The couple of things that I did get used out of from that curl kit, they were not good. Um, I know a lot of people really love Miss Jessie's, and I'm not saying I won't try anything else from the brand. Um, but just the things that I have tried, I have not been impressed with, and that was one of them. So I figured I'd just go ahead and let her go she needs to go <laughs> okay and then products that are actually empty <laughs> um this is the tropical coconut and rice milk hair mask from she sent it i did a self-care sunday on this so i will link that in the description box below this is a really 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 nice mask now it's not my absolute favorite but i would definitely repurchase this again this is really good if you need a good it's good if you need a little bit of strength to your hair but you don't necessarily need protein. i put it that way. Um, from what I've been able to tell um, and from what I've been told, this does not really have protein in it. But it is going to strengthen a little bit. Um, I really enjoyed this. I got about six uses out of it, which is not bad for a 13 fluid ounce container. I think this mask will run you about $15 or $16. It's worth every single penny. This one is really, really, really nice. It's not my absolute favorite. But it's good, yeah. Another awesome, awesome product, which everyone seems to be reviewing all of a sudden. I don't know where everybody just came out of the woodwork with this, but um, the African Pride Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Water Detangle and Condition Pre-Shampoo Treatment. Um, I absolutely love this. I have two videos, a part one and a part two, with the African Pride range, um, and I absolutely love this pre-shampoo treatment. It was one of the best things that they did in the collection. I absolutely love that collection to death with the exception of the conditioner. That one can go. It can die. It just, we don't want to talk about that in 2019. <laughs> um, but this right here is amazing. I'm not one to pre-poo. Usually if I do a pre-poo, it's because I've kind of neglected my hair. 
and this gets through the tangles. It really decreases how much shedding I have when I'm detangling in the shower after a really rough week of me neglecting my hair, um, which is helpful because there are a lot of times where I just have to lay in bed and not do anything. <laughs> and so when those days happen, I break this baby out. I get through my hair in a matter of minutes. I let it sit. And there's just something that happens when you rinse your hair and then you add the shampoo I, I can't even explain it, but if you've used this, you know. It's it's like magic, so um, I'm definitely going to go on. I haven't seen this in any of my Dollar Generals or anything, so I'm probably going to go on Naturally Curly and purchase about three or four and just keep them stocked um, because I, I absolutely enjoy this. I think I got about five uses out of this, so not bad. See some skincare. I have the Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel Pore Perfecting Toner. Um, I only use this... In the meantime, while I was out of my toner, I can't remember what I was using at the time. I mean, Witch Hazel works, but it doesn't really do that much for me. Right now, I'm using the Laneige toner, um, and that one is amazing. Their Fresh Calming toner, I absolutely love that stuff. I've seen such a difference in my skin since I've used it. Really, just my skincare in general has done a complete 180. I'm doing so much better. I don't know if y'all can tell, but my skin is so happy. <laughs> um, and so this is good to use in the meantime, you know, in between time for me, but it's not something that I use on a regular basis. I'm pretty sure I jacked this for my brother. <laughs> Favorite. Um, the Eden Body Works Split and Repair Mask. I'm not going to go into the spiel about this because y'all saw me buy two more on Black Friday. So, <laughs> and then another favorite, my She Scented Pomegranate Pear Oil and Gel Hair Pudding. This is a no crunch styling gel. This is another product that I have just been raving about all freaking year. I absolutely love this. It's an amazing styler. Um, my hair just eats up the Pomegranate Pear Collection. And so I absolutely love this. I will continue to repurchase it. It gives amazing, bouncy, fluffy wash and goes that still have really nice holds, so... I love this. If you haven't tried it, it's definitely, definitely worth trying. Um, this is the Garnier Whole Blend Smoothing Leave-In Conditioner with Coconut Oil and Cocoa Butter Extracts. I think, not last year, but the year before, I reviewed like almost every leave-in that they have. I actually have a new one, the Maple one. I got that off Amazon and I'm going to be reviewing that soon. I love this leave-in conditioner. Honestly, Garnier does leave-ins that really, really, really work for my hair. This one, the Curl Nourish Buttercream, which I also have an empty of, um, and then the Legendary Olive are all wonderful leave-in conditioners. They give me really nice, soft, defined curls. I like to use this with my um, my L Organics Honey and Ginger Styling Gel. That's a really great wash-and-go combo. It gives me the shiniest, softest, most wonderful wash-and-go ever. Um, and I have a video, I think almost every video that I did using these, I used a, I used the Myel. So if you want to see how those work, just look up my YouTube name, this product, it will pop up. And then I also have the Garnier Fructis Curl Nourish Buttercream Leave-In Treatment with Coconut, Jojoba, and Macadamia Oils. Like I said, I love Garnier leave-ins. I'm always repurchasing these. I need to go out and get another one of this. I already had a backup of the coconut and cocoa butter. Um, but this one is amazing as well. So if you have not tried this, I highly recommend it. And I know it's like either people love it or they hate it. But these are usually like four to five dollars at the drugstore. So it's not like you're going to be spending a bunch of money on something to not work if it doesn't work. So I highly recommend trying this out. You never, never know. I didn't think these were going to be the goat for me, but they have been. I have a conditioner. This is a rinse out. This is the Marc Anthony Defrizzing Coconut Cream Curl Sulfate Free Conditioner. It's an extra rich formula that hydrates, defines, and defrizzes, adds shine, and protects color. This, I have hair all over it, is a really, really, really nice rinse out. Um, I haven't used a lot of Marc Anthony products. I have this one, and I have the smoothie from the same collection, which is also really, really great. I put some friends onto that one. It's amazing. So, um... I highly suggest this. I use this as a leave-in sometimes, and then I finish this up as a rinse-out. Wanted to see how it worked both ways. 
it works both ways wonderfully. So if you see this, if it's on sale, I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I'm pretty sure I got it on sale. So if you see this, definitely give it a shot. I think I'm probably going to go buy some more the next time I see them doing a sale on Mark Anthony because I actually really, really like this. Y'all know my favorite is a Tresemme Botanique, which I have another one of. Um, this is the Nourish and Replenish with Coconut Milk and Aloe Vera conditioner this is my og conditioner um i love this stuff i am always repurchasing it i usually pick these up when target is doing that like if you get four you get a five dollar gift card that's usually when i stock up on these absolutely love them i already have some more under my sink these are amazing conditioners if you haven't tried them i highly suggest this i have the bliss pore patrol daily warming scrub with black volcanic sand there we go. This was a fun product. Um, Bliss skincare is actually very nice. They're very hit or miss. Some things I love from them, some things I'm just like, eh. This is one that I'm not like running, going to run back to the drugstore to get. You can get this in Target. Um, it has a nice warming sensation to it. It smells nice. Um, and the scrubbies in this do a pretty good job but it wasn't my favorite scrub I'm still looking for a scrub that I really really like but honestly I think I've gotten to the point where like I don't think scrubs are as applicable to my skincare routine now as they used to be and so I don't feel like I absolutely have to have a scrub in my routine I feel like it's just like a little luxury sometimes um so yeah I feel like if you've seen this and you've been interested in it it is worth trying out it's a really nice scrub it's just something that I don't necessarily need in my routine right now this is the TGIN curl bomb moisturizing styling gel with nettle leaf and olive oil love 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 this gel um now now this gel does have a learning curve to it it's not going to work for everybody I can tell you guys that right now um but when it works, it is amazing. And so I have perfected my wash and goes with it, and I absolutely enjoy it. I have a backup over there on my shelf. Um, Y'all know this last month I ain't been too happy with TGIN. But just because I'm not necessarily happy with the company doesn't mean that I'm going to tell y'all that I don't like a product. I do really love this product. It's a great gel. Um, and so if you have been thinking about trying this out, I say see if you can catch a sale. I think this runs around $14.99. So if you can catch a sale on it, especially at Sally's, like I would say go that route if you really do want to try it or if they do another um, $10 sale. So this is a really great gel. I absolutely enjoy it. I can use it year round, which is something that I really love about it. And always radiant with flex foam. Y'all know I'm very open to talking about um, hygiene and just all over... Um, reproductive health and care and so this is one of the things that I tell you guys about all the time always is like my brand I do use organic pads as well um, for the most part but I still use these on the days when my flow is like ridiculously ridiculously heavy another really great product this is the Jane Carter solution curls to go curl drench cleansing co-wash pretty sure I emptied one of these in my previous empties um, and this was the second one that I told you guys that I got. I really like this co-wash. Um, once I got to the second one, I was like, you know what? Me and her can rock with each other. I know, like, the little seal's on, but you can still smell it. And it smells amazing. I love the smell of it. It has such a nice, creamy texture. It just runs through the hair really well. I got about eight washes out of this. It's more moisturizing than it is cleansing. Um, but it definitely had its place in my hair care regimen. I won't repurchase any right now because I have a lot of co-washes. I told y'all I'm working on a co-washing video. Um, and so for that reason, I'm not going to repurchase right now. But I do think I will end up buying that once I'm all like co-washed out and I've nailed down the ones that I absolutely love the most and want to keep in my stash. I have some more skincare. And we're going to do these together because they all came in the same kit. So... I did a Sephora haul. If y'all saw my Bath and Body Works haul, y'all saw there was supposed to be a, a second part that was Sephora, right? I don't know what I what what I did, but the other half is gone. Um, <laughs> if y'all would like me to refilm that, I will, but I kind of feel like y'all probably don't care anyway. But these were one of the things that I got in that haul. Um, Belief does kits every year with their skincare. 
and I switched over to the True Cream Moisturizing Balm simply because it's cold outside. I needed something a little bit more moisturizing, so it came with the Moisturizing Balm. I just went through that. The Aqua Balm Sleeping Mask. And their Moisturizing Eye Balm. So it had a full size and two minis. Two minis that had very, like, very good amounts of product in them. So I repurchased another one of these kits. And then I also purchased this sleeping mask. So let me break this down for you. This is the moisturizer that I use every morning and basically every night. Um, so it's a nice cream. Um, this is really powered with hyaluronic acid. It has comfrey leaf um, and their Napier's original formula. If you don't know anything about Belief, just go on their website, look up their formulations, and it'll explain everything. Um, but this feels amazing on the skin. When they say like a moisturizing balm, it literally feels like a little balm of moisture hitting your skin. It feels so good. Um, this leaves me moisturized all day, all night. It has really just changed the texture of my skin um, and the way that my skin looks. And it gives me a glow, but it's not like that damn girl you oily glow. It's like that, oh girl, you, you got good skin glow, you know? So I absolutely love this cream. Um, usually in the warmer months, I will use the True Cream Aqua Balm. And so for the colder months, I'll be using the Moisturizing Balm. And then this Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask. So let me tell y'all, this stuff right here, first of all, it's genius how they did this. Instead of doing like a little pillow pack, it has a top. Um, so you can actually reuse the product without it getting gross. This stuff, y'all. It was good enough for me to go back and buy the, thir the $34 full size of it. I'll put it that way. Um, it has like a jelly pudding texture. You put it on your skin and it's like this insane burst of moisture um, and it kind of starts to set into the skin and you feel it kind of getting sticky and you're like, oh shit, this is going to be nasty. No, it sets into the skin in a way that it doesn't get tacky on your pillow. It doesn't get all over your sheets. Um, but when you go to rinse it off in the morning, you're like, is my skin dry? But no, when, you, when the water touches your face, when you go to like rinse this off, you can feel it. And you just have the glowiest, softest, most supple skin ever. And so some nights I will trade this out for my um, moisturizing balm and I will use this as a treatment at night. And it is amazing. If you've been looking for a good sleeping mask, I highly suggest this. I don't put things in my skincare routine just to add things to my skincare routine. If I'm going to have something in my skincare routine and I'm going to pay money for it, it better work and so I'm just letting you guys know it's not like I have that much money to blow on skincare that stuff works and I will buy it again just straight up also the moisturizing eye balm this is really nice too um, if you have been watching me for any amount of time and you watch my empties videos you know that the Clinique pep star eye cream is the goat I love that stuff I wear it almost every single day it has nice um, glowy properties to it, but it keeps my skin moisturized. This one right here is very nice and moisturizing as well. I absolutely enjoy this, um, almost as much as I enjoy the Pep Start. So what I will do is, like, the days when I'm super duper fatigued, I use my Pep Start, and the days where, like, things are just kind of normal for me, I have it on right now, um, I will use this one. So I've been switching them out, but I absolutely enjoy this one, and I really do think that once I finish the other little mini of this, because this lasted me a long time. This lasted me like three months. So I think I will probably end up with the full size of this as well. Because this is a really nice eye cream. Some more hair. I have the Eco Styler Professional Styling Gel um, for color treated hair. And this is a Max Hold 10. I never ended up using this for a wash and go. I did a haul like two years ago with this one and I think the Protein one. I had a couple different eco stylers in there and I'd like repurchase my eco pink. I never ended up using this for a wash and go because I love the way that my puffs and my buns and like my slick like low ponytails looked with this. Um, there was just something about the way that like the way it made my hair shine that I just really really enjoyed. This would probably be great for a wash and go but I just really really like that for that purpose. So um 
this one is a really nice eco um it's thick you know typical eco texture there's not really anything special i can say about it can't say if it works for a wash and go but for slick back styles puffs buns all that good stuff she's good some health stuff i have the ollie women's multivitamin <clears throat> i have um emptied a lot of these in the past uh right now i've been really 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 bad at taking my multivitamin don't come for me <laughs> i've just had so much going on and then figuring out my stomach issues and then like basically everything i thought was normal in my life changed after i had to have a colonoscopy and like eating and taking medication was really weird for me for a while if you've had one you understand um so i haven't repurchased this it's not that i won't repurchase it or that it's bad um i've just kind of been in limbo when it comes to like eating and taking medicine or vitamins or anything so don't judge me but this is an amazing multivitamin especially if you are like me and you have to take a lot of pills and you're trying to avoid taking more pills this one really helps i enjoy it i definitely see a difference in it this is my eco gold got through a whole tub of eco gold y'all it usually takes me like two years to go through a 32 ounce eco that just tells you how much I love this right there. I've been talking about it since I tried it. I have another 32 fluid ounce and I have the 5 pound tub. So. <laughs> it's real love over here. I also have the tropical rice, I mean the tropical coconut and rice milk conditioning smoothie. Um, This is the companion conditioner to the tropical coconut and rice milk hair mask from She Sent It. That's what she looks like. This is really nice. Um, this is my secret, my second favorite rinse out from She Sent It. Um, my absolute favorite rinse out is the Honey Moisture, which I haven't seen on the site in a while. I need to find out what's going on with that because that stuff is amazing. But anyway, this is my second favorite. This one's really, really nice. It has a lot of slip. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase it though. It's I just, it's not calling my name, you know? Like, if I were going to repurchase, I would repurchase the deep conditioner over this one. Is it really a video if my dogs don't lose their shit? I don't think so. All right. So, I have some deodorant. This is a Schmitz Lavender and Sage Natural Deodorant. Um, now, if you follow me on Instagram, you have heard some of the trials and tribulations that I've had we're trying to switch to natural deodorant. Um, I ended up with a chemical burn from using this right after shaving. And it actually says on the bottle, do not apply directly after shaving. <laughs> do not over apply or use on broken skin. Um, I had a lot of issues trying to implement this in my routine. It was really, really good for a while. Um, I ended up with that chemical burn. I thought the chemical burn cleared up. I kept using this. I bought another one of these because I thought it was working. Like, I didn't stink or anything. Um, but then I started getting more rashes underneath my arms. And I came to the conclusion that I think it dries me out. This basically absorbs wetness. I don't sweat like that. Um, and so I think this was drying me out massively. So, um... I think just the baking soda in it. Um, I think this has, yeah, it has arrowroot powder, baking soda, and coconut oil as the first three ingredients. I think it just dried me out too much, and it was to the point where, like, I would come home and I had to sit like this because my underarms were so cracked. I just decided to break out this random deodorant that I had, just chilling, because I just, I did not want to put this back on. Um, and it cleared up within literally 48 hours and so I cannot use this I don't know if it's the baking soda that I'm, that I'm sensitive to I'm gonna take a break from trying out natural deodorants right now because that was really painful um and also very gross and so I'm just gonna take a break I'm not saying natural deodorants are bad <laughs> that's not what I'm saying but sometimes if it ain't broke don't fix it it wasn't broke and I tried to fix it and I regretted it so I think right now I'm gonna just I'm gonna do what I've been doing <laughs> um, I also have the Dove dry spray um, and this one is just the deodorant 
I really like this one. Um, it's really, really, really nice. And so, I'll probably go back to this one. I know they have ones that are antiperspirants and ones that are just deodorants. I think I've used both without issue. So, I don't know if it's an antiperspirant issue or if it's an ingredient issue. It's probably an ingredient issue because I'm pretty sure I've used antiperspirants in the past and I didn't have an issue. So, we'll see. I don't know. Um... I have too many other things going on in my life to be fighting with my deodorant right now. Some more She Scent It. I have the Papaya Super Hydrate Hair Mask. It's a moisturizing deep treatment for all hair types. I did a self-care Sunday on this one as well, and I actually really like it. I think I might repurchase it. This is great if you are really lacking hydration. Not moisture, hydration. Those are two different things. This will hydrate the heck out of your hair and you will see the difference. Um, even though I don't love it as much as the Royal Honey, I think that this definitely absolutely has a place in my routine as a deep treatment for really making sure that I get that hydration in my hair. Sometimes I don't have an issue obtaining moisture, but I do have an issue, an issue obtaining and retaining moisture, um, hydration. And so I think that this is really great for that. It's a really nice deep conditioner. It also has tons of slip. If you need slip in a deep conditioner, oh buddy, get that one. The Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Mask. I also did a self-care Sunday on this. I'll link it in the DB. <laughs> um, but this is one of my favorite treatments if I need just a nice dose of protein. Um, it does still have more moisture in it than the Camille Rose um, Nangai and Subaki treatment. That one is straight up protein. This one does have a little bit of moisture balance into it, but if you have a lot of issues with protein, then this still might be a little bit too much protein for you, if that makes sense. But I absolutely love this, and I, I'm pretty sure y'all saw why in that video, so I'll definitely link it below if you have any additional questions about this. More She Scent It, the Avocado Moisturizing Conditioner. Um, infused with avocado oil. It's a super moisturizing formula for all hair types. Like I said, this one is not my favorite rinse out from She Sent It. I wanted to love it as much as everybody else does, but I just, I don't. Like, I don't. And y'all know that I am just crazy about She Sent It, but this is a product that I'm just like, eh. Like, it was cool. I used it up. It didn't harm my hair, but it didn't do anything spectacular for it either. It was like, oh, cool. I did that. <laughs> but I do have a favorite of She Sent It, and that is the Blueberry Co-Wash Conditioner with Blueberry Extract and Yucca Root. It cleanses and moisturizes hair. <sighs> I'm still so mad that I could not get this. I think it's finally back in stock on the website, um, and so I will just end up buying, like, five full price. I love She Sent It enough to do that, honestly. Like, I'm the type of person I love a sale, there are very few brands that I will pay full price for. She Sent It is one of those brands that I will pay full price for. So I absolutely love this co-wash. I'm definitely going to have this in my co-washing video. This one is amazing. And I am I know a lot of you guys said that you picked this up during Black Friday. So absolutely love this. It's one of my favorites. It's just... Let's see. I have a couple things that I didn't finish. This was the Pure Oils by Silk Elements Moisturizing Marmalade. And that's what it looks like. The color started to turn, so I figured it was probably time. And I think it smells a little different, too. Yeah, it's starting to smell a little different. It doesn't smell bad, but the smell is changing. Um, This didn't really do much for my hair anyway. I had to be very particular about what leave-ins I put on top of it. It really doesn't have a lot of hold. I got this because I saw Moat Nose Hair do a tutorial with it. And, like, it's nice. Like, it makes your hair shiny. It will give you definition. But it's just that hold factor. I can really only use this in the colder months. Um, and for me, you have to be really, really, really good for me to only use it during a certain time of the year, if that makes sense. <laughs> and so, I wouldn't be pressed to buy this again. Um, the nice thing was that I didn't have to use a lot of it because it is a very concentrated styler. Um, but it just made it that much more difficult for me to finish it. So, for me, it was, it was just okay. Oh, this is the toner I was using before. <laughs> um, this is the Trader Joe's Rose Water Facial Toner. It hydrates and refreshes. 
this is really, really nice. Honestly, I would just get this as a facial spray. Um, it was okay for toning purposes. It didn't really do that much for me. Um, but it was nice just to come home and just mist this all over my face. It has a nice mister. Um, if you like incorporating rose water in your routine, this is one that I would highly suggest. Plus, it's cheap. I think it was like three bucks. I have some more Bliss products. I have the That's Incredipeal Spa, Spa Strength Glycolic Resurfacing Pads to smooth and brighten. Um... I felt these when I put them on my face, but I didn't feel like I saw much of a difference. Um, so for that reason, I wouldn't use these also just because like each one is individually wrapped and I feel like it's just unnecessary excess packaging when you could just put them in a jar. Um, but yeah, like it, it, you could feel the burn, but as far as the actual benefits of this, I didn't really see that many benefits in it. Like, I didn't see any changes in my skin. Um, I didn't see it really brighten anything. And I didn't see a difference in my dark spots either. I love a, gl a good glycolic. This was just one that was just kind of there for me, so. I have uh, the main choice, Heavenly Halo Herbal Hair Tonic and Soy Milk Deep Hydration Conditioner. Pretty sure I mentioned this a, quite a few bit videos back. Love this conditioner, but it's a pricey conditioner. Um, and so on sale, yes. Just ball in the ball, no. <laughs> um, but it is a very, very good conditioner. I also have the Garnier Whole Blends Repairing Shampoo. Um, this is from the Honey Tre the Honey Treasures collection. Love the shampoo. I have another one in my sink. Takes me forever to get through this, so I was proud that I finished this. Uh, but it's a really nice shampoo. It um, it does a whole lot of stripping without making your hair feel rough, if that makes sense. So I really enjoy this. I wouldn't necessarily call it clarifying because I'm pretty sure it has a cone in it. But I honestly, like, I really don't care because like my hair feels so good. And my products apply so well after having washed with the shampoo. So this is a really good one if you're looking for a good, just effective but cheap drugstore shampoo. This one's nice. Oh, how I miss having a Lush so close to me. So this is the Sleepy Body Lotion. I've talked about this a million times on my channel. Y'all know how I feel about it. I don't need to tell you. It smells like friendship and happiness and lavender and sweet dreams. I'm going to be getting the jumbo size of this. I pretty much have one of these in almost every single empties I do. And they came out with the sleepy shower gel too, so I'm probably gonna get that. I also have the Catastrophe Cosmetic Face Mask. I've shown this, I've talked about it. Love this for when I have really, really, really bad breakouts. And then I also have the Magical Moringa Facial Moisturizer. Now this one is not completely empty. Um, this is like, a moisturizer primer type situation it's just hard to get through it works really 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 well but they could this is 2.6 ounces honestly they can make this 1.3 and lower the price and you might actually have a fighting chance of getting through it before it goes bad um so yeah I just I've been using it I really really like it it works great under makeup but um it's almost impossible to get through it so I also have two minis these were from the Sephora haul that I did of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This one is in uh, Apple Lime and then the Vanilla Fragrance. I'm going through the little grapefruit one right now. So it was a kit that had the full, sla the full size sleeping mask and then three of the minis. Dope lip treatment. Y'all know I love me a good lip balm. This is amazing. Um, this is designed for nighttime, but I wear it night and day. Absolutely love it. And then I have some Pinky Blue Bath and Body. I talked about them um, as an honorable mention uh, in my favorites video, my self-care Sunday slash favorites that I uploaded um, this past week. So I have a few scents. I have Bohemian Blue Banana Body Butter. I have the Midnight and Maui Body Butter. I also have the Midnight in Maui Whipped Soap Smoothie. I'm not going to talk too much about this stuff just because I plan on doing a Black Owned Business Highlight. She's going to be the first one of the year because she's just, Venetia's amazing. But these smell awesome. The scents are wonderful. And I mean, you can see like I went 
I went through this stuff and I have more that I went through. My brother has also gone through quite a few of her things. He uses the uh, Egyptian Pharaoh fragrance. She does have men's scents as well. Pinky Blue Bath and Body is dope. You need to try them. But there will be an entire black owned business highlight on them coming soon. So I will give you all the details you need to know and I'll let y'all know some of my favorite scents too. Um, I did mention organic pads and I do have more. These are the Cora Organics um, pads. I've talked about these. I really do enjoy them. I, um, I think I have another pack that I have finished or I'm almost finished with. So those are really good too. I have some wallflowers. Let's see. This one was pumpkin pecan waffles. Really love that scent. I have more wallflowers in that scent. Leaves. If you have not tried leaves, you're missing out. It's an amazing, amazing scent um, for the fall and winter months. And then I'm pretty sure this one is autumn. Yeah, autumn. So leaves, autumn, and pumpkin pecan waffles. All scents that I love to have in my room. Love me some good wallflowers. I have some face masks. I have the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to Clear Pores. Um, this was an amazing mask just to kind of like help brighten, take care of your pores, kind of dig out some of that dirt that's in there and this lasted a really long time i can't even tell you how many uses i got out of this i tried to keep count and i couldn't the only downside now is that the bottle is smaller it's the same price but the bottle is smaller and now i think this is like 2.7 ounces and this was 3.4 so i'm a little pissed off about that not that like you absolutely need 3.4 ounces because it lasts forever but still I kind of feel some type of way about that, but this was an amazing mask, and for that reason, I'm going to buy it again because I love it. I miss it, but um, Origins, that's janky as shit. And then I also have the Bliss Pore Patrol Deep Detox 4 Clay Souffle Mask. This was a product that I loved from Bliss. I will be buying this again. It comes out like a clay foam. Um, I got tons of uses out of this. It really just kind of clarified and brightened it was just really 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 nice but it didn't dry out my skin either so I will definitely repurchase this they did a good job with this and then also the deep clean purifying clay cleanser and mask from Neutrogena I feel like this mask wanted to be the bliss it was close but not close enough this is still very nice though like if I if I weren't able to find the bliss I would get this one because this one's easy to find but I prefer the bliss one over this so um, still good. It works. It's very similar, but the Bliss one wins. I also have the Honey Potion mask from Pharmacy. This was really, really, really nice, but it's expensive. I can't say that I buy it again. I might, but I can't. I can't put my life on that that I buy it again. I have another sheet mask, the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb sheet mask. I've showed these before. Um, this is the Super Hydrating Glow Boosting Mask. And I loved it. I love the Garnier sheet mask. If you ever come across them, get a couple. They're dope. Perfect for when you're about to go to bed. I wouldn't use those during the day. Um, I also have the Burt's Bees Sensitive Night Cream. This was really, really good for like... A month and then it started to separate and get kind of goopy and weird and I knew it was time for me to know um so it's a good night cream but if you can't finish it then what's the point of having it I went through my Maybelline fit me matte and poreless in the shade spicy brown this is pretty much my everyday foundation I used up a Clinique quick liner for eyes it won't roll up anymore. There's tons of product in it, but I can't use it anymore. Faulty packaging. Great eyeliner, though. I also used up this Bite Beauty um, Luminous Cream Lipstick in the shade Lingonberry and Tangerine. These are really pretty colors. Um, they've changed the formula of these lipsticks, though. So I pretty much finished them off. It's really old, so it was time to go. I use up this Revlon lip gloss in the shade Sandstorm. I don't know if they sell this anymore, but I cleaned that baby out. It was a decent gloss. It wasn't my favorite, but I had it and I used it. 
And then I used two um, point perks of the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This is amazing. I basically racked up on these with my points. I love this primer. It makes my skin look like butter when I have on makeup. I love it. I will probably repurchase, like, purchase the full size at some point because it's very, very nice. I also used up my Hibiscus Honey Curl Hydration Conditioner from Eden Body Works. Y'all know I love this conditioner. Um, my only gripe is the size. That's literally it. I love it, but I only got three uses out of it, so, um, I'll get it on sale, but just buying it just to buy it, no. I'll buy it when it's on sale, but it gives me amazing results. If you don't have as much hair as I do, I'm sure you'll love this. Yeah, I also have the Lavender and Espresso, um, Hand Therapy from Crabtree and Evelyn. I used to work there, but this is, like, the best hand cream on the market. Um, it was so funny because... Quinn Ray, she posted about the um, pomegranate, pomegranate and argan oil hand therapy the other day. And I was like, ah, I used to work there. It's the best stuff. And she was like, yeah, now I'm hoarding it. And it's true. I have tons of these all over my house. <laughs> Home stretch. So I have the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This is like one of those silicone pore filling primers. It's decent. I don't think I'd buy it again, though. I'm really loving my um, No Pore Blum Primer from Touch and Soul. That one's really, really nice. I have the Blistex Ultra Rich Hydration. This is really nice, too, for a drugstore lip balm. Y'all know drugstore lip balms can get kind of sketchy with me. This one was good. I just didn't like how it tasted. Like, it had a weird taste. And the last thing, my baby... Um, this is the Shiseido Ibuki Smart Filtering Smoother. This is my absolute favorite primer. This stuff smooths out everything. It gives me this matte finish. My makeup lasts so long on top of it, but they don't sell this at Sephora anymore. I think they still make it, though. I think they have this on the Shiseido website, and so I'll probably go over there and get more, but that's the only reason I haven't repurchased it is because I went on Sephora, and I was like, wait, where's she at? <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and see if I can find this again, but if you ever see this, buy it. It's amazing. It You only need a few drops. I do a drop here, 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 and here. Smooth that in. Oh my god. It's insane. It's amazing. So yeah, if you ever see this, go get it. I'm not steering you wrong. Okay, guys, so we made it. That's a lot of trash. <laughs> That's a lot of trash, but we finally made it. So y'all can see, I go through products. I buy a lot of stuff, but I do go through my products. I do use them up. I do work really hard and make sure I try everything. So um, let me know, what have you guys been getting through? Have you been getting through your stash over the last year? Is this your goal this year to try and get through more of your stash because you didn't last year? Let me know in the comments below. Um, and of course, if there's anything else that you want to see, like, in-depth talks on, if I don't have a video on it, let me know if you want to see one. And then if I do, be sure to check that description box because I will have them linked in the, in the description box below for you guys. Alright, thanks so much for tuning in with me today on this empties video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!